Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues on this very dark and rainy evening here in Ohio. What's that we need to shine some light on? Well, let's turn some light on. And here we are for the collect and connect review of the Bat Signal and taking a look at the whole entire line from the Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters collection from Mattel. This has been a very hard line to collect and put together as many of you know um, it's been the last three months that Mattel has started putting out these figures and of course if you've seen the Rob's rant video you've kind of seen all of that I've got the bat signal up here we'll shine some light on but I did want you to be able to see and there is right there where the bat signal does go off after some time kick it back on again I'll pull the bat signal out of here and I'll step away from the camera so you can kind of see how this projects onto my backdrop there. As you can tell, it projects very, very well. We'll tilt the camera up a little bit so you can see it a little bit higher on the uh, backdrop that I have. I don't know if you... Uh, I'm actually clear across... I'm clear across the room We'll put the bat signal back here. I was clear across the room, um, and it projects very, very well. We'll turn some light on here on the camera. And here we are. So this is an evening uh, review, so the light's a little bit distorted, but we can see all the figures that it took to make up the collect and connect for the bat signal. A very, very impressive piece. As I've stated, the 12-year-old boy and me is finally happy to have a working bat signal that does not require me using a flashlight and cutting out a bat logo to put on it. Um, of course going back about three months ago I believe could be about a month that uh, the first figure that I had picked up was Alfred and initially I had told myself I was only gonna pick up Alfred and that was before the uh, I was made aware that we were going to get uh, six pieces to put together the Collect and Connect. Seven pieces if you count the repaint of Commissioner Gordon up here that you could take off the front lens, the front lens, excuse me, and have the shattered lens to kind of recreate the ending of the Dark Knight when Commissioner Gordon smashes it with an axe. So, uh, you know, going through the figures that I bought here. Uh, seeing the first initial set of figures, um, the secret figure, which uh, Raz al Ghul is out of frame. There he is right there. Kind of move everybody in just a little bit closer because we're a happy little family here. Um, it, he was the secret figure and I gotta say that Mattel did a really good job of keeping uh, Raz a secret as being the figure. I think with about a few weeks left to go before the movie came out, um, they had made it known that Roz was the sixth and final figure for the wave, which I thought was pretty cool. It kind of wraps up um, all the figures. Um, from the whole entire line from the Dark Knight, I currently also have the Joker and Two-Face. Uh, the only one that I'm missing is the Scarecrow, and hopefully maybe at some time I can pick that up and I will be able to actually have all the Nolan Universe uh, figures here. Um, it, this is one of those times that, as I said in the rant video, that as impressive as the, and there, I don't know if you can hear it, was the thunder here. So uh, I'm kind of doing the review in the dark, so that way in case if I lose uh, electricity, well, the camera's not tied in, but um, as I said in the, in the rant video, that I was a little apprehensive about trying to pick up all the figures that make up the Collect and Connect. Uh, just kind of seeing how how much of a hard time I had with the Young Justice trying to put the Hall of Justice together and seeing what happened with the Green Lantern movie. Like it or love the movie. Um, I did like the movie, but the toy line did not uh, fare very well. And they also had a Collect and Connect in there. And I know a lot of people uh, were in the same boat as us Batman fans when we were trying to put the bat signal together that Mattel almost completely stopped production so the big collect and connect parallax uh, made it you know was very hard to get that figure um, and I think as 
I've said before in my previous video that the quantity of figures that made up the bat signal was not replicated very well through. Um, you can go to many of your uh, local retail stores and find quite a few Batman on the shelf and also Bane and that's about all that you can usually find. You may be lucky to find an Alfred or maybe find a Catwoman. Um, uh, certain Walmarts do have the repaint of the Commissioner Gordon up here but he is not really needed to complete the bat signal unless you want an alternate bat signal to have if you're recreating you know, scenes from the movie. Um, it, the bat signal for me probably should have been a piece that Mattel offered uh, to buy, just as they made a Movie Masters bat pod, they've made a Batmobile. Um, they could have put a thirty to forty dollar price tag, probably more twenty five to thirty dollar price tag. <clears throat> excuse me, on the bat signal, and people would have bought it. It could have been a you know, Walmart exclusive or a Target or Toys R Us or whatever, and I think people would have went out and bought that. Um, the Collecting Connect as a whole is a good idea to get people to buy all of your figures, but if you don't make enough of those figures, then people aren't going to be able to buy all of those figures. So that's, that's a disappointing part. Um, was it worth it? I believe it was. Um, yes, there's a lot of figures that are very hard to find, the two being John Blake up here and uh, Ra's al Ghul are the two hardest ones to find. The next is probably Catwoman and then uh, Alfred. Um, a few weeks ago I tried to do a toy run where I was trying to find figures and in a probably 120 some odd miles, miles that I drove um, and probably stopping at 12 different stores the only two figures that I saw were Batman and Bane, with the exception I saw Alfred one time. So in all that running around, I didn't see any Commissioner Gordons and no Catwomans, and then save one Alfred, basically the only thing that I saw out of, you know, probably five Walmarts that I went to and four Toys R Us's, which is really kind of sad that all that you can find are these two figures. So you will probably have to pay a pretty penny to get the bat signal and my wife had pointed out in probably the close to a hundred dollars that I spent on these figures um, I basically bought a hundred dollar bat signal so um, was was it worth it yes it was had there been no collect and connect uh, what were the figures that I probably definitely would have bought I definitely would have bought an Alfred as I don't have an Alfred anywhere in my collection even though he's not comic book accurate um, in two movie franchises, Alfred has been a white-haired gentleman, and, and even in uh, Batman Arkham, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City video game, he's depicted as a white-haired person. So just having him next to any Batman figure, where whether it be DC Direct, DC Collectibles, or the DC UC figures, or even, of course, here, uh, standing next to a Batman or a Bruce Wayne, you're going to know it's Alfred. Um, I definitely wanted a Commissioner Gordon, so that was a no-brainer for me. And to have a Catwoman in this scale was a really good figure. Now the rest of the figures, um, if you've seen the movie and you know uh, who I like in the DC Universe, uh, John Blake became a very uh, important figure for me to have. Um, so if you haven't seen the movie, little spoiler right here, um, pause your video or fast forward it. Well, we do know that uh, the John Blake character, his first name is Robin, so that was one way that Christopher Nolan got to have a Robin person or persona in the movie. So being that he was a Robin, he's a really good figure for me to have as well. So that just kind of leaves Bane and Ra's al Ghul, as they're both really cool figures, they weren't necessarily a necessity for me to have from a collecting standpoint, but to be able to get them to complete the line, they look really good standing with the other figures, and also to have the bat signal. So I'm very happy that I have bought all of them, this whole collect and connect bat signal is done. Will I jump on board for another collect and connect? Probably not. It's gonna. It would have to be something extremely cool and extremely rare to get but even then I would really have to think twice about it having two bad experiences in trying to spend money 
to buy a product and then the product just not be made available is really kind of poor. But on a whole, I do like every single one of the figures. I like the interpretation that Christopher Nolan did in the movies. Um, I think the movie was great. Um, I have seen it twice now, and probably in the order that I liked it when I first when I first saw the movie, I thought the order that I liked the movies were the order they were released: Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. And having seen The Dark Knight now a second time, I really think this might be my favorite Batman movie. Uh, almost of all time. Definitely out of this franchise. And I still kind of hold a special place for Batman Forever. Um, it, a, because it had Robin in it. There was just something about it. Um, just recently having graduated high school and having a new Batman movie. So that was, that was fun at that time in my life. But definitely the Nolan Universe has been the best Batman series that we have um, seen on film. Um, I really liked the portrayal of Bane in this movie. I thought uh, he did an excellent job in the role of Bane. And just basically everybody. Anne Hathaway just kind of blew me away as Catwoman. Um, was an ex I always knew she was a really good actress, but uh, I think she really uh, hit the mark and is definitely my favorite Catwoman on screen. Uh, John Blake, I've always... Or John Blake. Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt um, I thought he is has always been a really good actor, and uh, it, it, even in seeing this movie now, he's uh, become somebody I really want to see more of. I haven't seen Inception yet, I just recently bought it, and I mainly bought it just because of his acting in The Dark Knight Rises. Um, I recommend going and seeing the movie um, as many times as you can. Um, don't let things that have uh, recently happened in the news uh, stop you from going out and living and just doing those things that um, we enjoy doing. The first time that something bad happens and we stop living, the bad people win. And that's kind of the message in The uh, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, this has been a, uh, as much as it's been a struggle to try and buy all of these figures and collect them all, it has been really kind of fun to collect them all and then be able to have them standing on my shelf, uh, standing around the bat signal. Um, probably sometime after the movie's been long gone and these figures are kind of just standing different places on my shelf, the bat signal is definitely going to be a prominent prop that I have with any of my Batman figures. And the bat signal looks great with any DC Batman DC Universe Batman that you have. It's in a great scale, and I highly recommend it. I thought this was something really cool to kind of shoot a video in the evening that uh, you could see the bat signal work, you could see it project, and uh, you get a good scope and size of just how big this bat signal actually really is. So hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, review. Uh, kind of different uh, shooting this at nighttime and uh, maybe we'll do it with the bat signal on another time here turn the light off on the camera got a good shot to see it there so as always this is Rob for Rob's Rogue signing off and saying we will see you guys next time <laughs>